Hi everyone, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop. Here with a brand new torch from Ace Beam. It is the K75. Now this is 80,000 lumens max. It's the second brightest torch that we have in our range, uh, just under the Immolent MS18, which is the brightest torch in the world, uh, being at 100,000 lumens. So this is 80,000 lumens, far more compact than the Immolent MS18. So I'll get it out go through it and uh, we'll get a couple of night shots to you. So let's get into it. Da -da -da -da. First of all, obviously it comes in some pretty big packaging because it is a quite a large torch. So a couple of things you get in the pack, obviously you get your torch already pre-installed, everything like this. Uh, it comes with a nice rubber shroud, which I'll talk about in a little bit. It is USB-C fast charging. We do include a USB-C wall charger with our unit. It doesn't actually come with one but they do provide you with a USB-C to USB-C cable. Now, it has in some incredible uh, charge speeds with this unit, so definitely worth double checking that, making sure that you've got the max. If you wanna get the max charge, make sure you've got the max amount of wattage output USB-C that you can get, and um, yeah, you're gonna get the quickest charge possible. It is also a 100 watt PD power bank as well, so this thing will actually charge pretty much a laptop and things like that. So. Really, really cool interface uh, with USB-C that you can just do so much stuff with it um, with the input and output of just one port, uh, which is great. So really high powered USB-C cable included. Because it's such a high powered torch, it does come with a fan already integrated sort of into this handle part. It's sort of quite, um, quite a unique design and really, really cool. Unlike a lot of other companies, they do give you a spare fan as well and sort of all the parts you need to sort of replace that fan if anything ever should go wrong, which is really nice to see. They're sort of making this light a bit more sustainable than some other brands with um, things that might go wrong. So really cool to see from Ace Beam to, yeah, really think outside the box of what sort of consumers might need these days. And of course you get a couple spare O-rings too. Also comes with spare screws and another sort of little waterproof cap here as well. So really, really nice to see that Ace Beam is sort of, yeah, thinking outside that box, tons of little tools are uh, available and yeah, that come with the pack, uh, which is great. And also you get your Ace Beam warranty and guarantee card and don't forget that user manual, worth a read. Uh, there's so much going on with this light uh, and also about like four preset modes, you can set it in as well. I sort of just go through the main settings, um, but yeah, there's so many different settings you can use it for and also worth a read because it is such a high powered light that um, in sort of windy conditions and in non-windy conditions, you might wanna change that around to get the max run times that you might wanna feel and just almost save that light as well. Jumping straight into the light now, uh, really, really cool design just straight off the back. Don't know if that's gonna show too well on camera, but it is pretty much just, yeah, that shows a little bit better. Like you can see straight through that light. So there's just heaps of gap. The LEDs are sitting on just a solid, pretty much solid copper plate with really nice deep set fins. Um, I can't sort of get that on camera too well, but it's just really nicely designed. So it's going to dissipate that heat quite well. For such a high powered torch is really something that you want. That fan comes on automatically. Uh, you can't turn it on or off. Uh, so it just comes on automatically. I only sort of had it coming on when I was getting to that turbo mode, um, which is yeah, really, really great. Now they do give you this sort of rubberized sort of uh, shroud here, but it does also serve another purpose, which is really, really cool. It changes color when it gets hot. So when it gets really gray, uh, light color gray, um, whereas now it's sort of that sort of darker gray, when it heats right up, it'll get quite a light gray. And that's pretty much indicating that your, to your torch or the head of your torch at least is quite warm. As I said, it's got the USB-C charging port at the back here. All you have to do is take off that rear tail cap. It's got that one port, in out port, really, really nice. You've got your sort of indicating uh, lights on the top there to show if it's charging, outputting, or fully charged. Handle is similar to another one of their lights is actually the Ace Beam X50 with the lockout. It's a really nice mechanical. You can probably hear that. Really, really satisfying. Click on, click off and easy to note sort of instructions there to know if your lockout is on or off. Button interface, again, really simple and actually quite a pleasure to use. You've got the sort of 
one button at the um, closer towards the lockout is sort of raised a bit. So if we can get that on camera a little bit. So, so the one button towards the sort of back, you can sort of see is a little bit raised. Now that's your mode button. So you can hold that down, you can cycle through the modes, you can turn it on and off through there. The one closer towards the head of the torch is just your instant turbo. So you can be walking around on low mode, which is a really fantastic mode, and then just go bang, instant turbo, straight away you get that 80,000 lumen burst and um, the fan will sort of kick in then. And yeah, it's just really, really sort of a pleasure to use walking around. For an 80,000 lumen torch, this is actually quite compact when you sort of put it up against the MS-18 and other lights like that. So they've made a super compact light, lots of heat dispersion here, and uh, made it really easy to sort of service and remove that fan and remove this handle to sort of, yeah, get in there and service your light and make sure everything's working as good as it can be. Especially with those fans, you don't want anything getting caught in there. So it's nice to know you can quickly whip it out with a couple of bolts have a look through it and then um, yeah, put it back in and away you go. Like I said, it's got that smart sort of thermo control so that fan will come on when it's too hot. I only had it coming on when it was on turbo because it was quite cool out when I've been using it. So I could imagine it would come on on those lower modes if it is thinking it's too warm. That detachable fan is waterproof as well. It's all got all internal parts, internal waterproofing. So it is IP68 rated, which is really nice to see. So. Doesn't matter if you sort of see any wires or anything like that, it is waterproof on the internals. So the whole torch itself is also IP68 rated, so it's submersible, two meters for sort of 30 minutes. Don't recommend sort of putting it underwater, obviously, for long periods of time, but out in the rain, and as you'll see, I was using it out in the rain and had absolutely no dramas with it at all, and I wouldn't expect to have any dramas too. Uh, and you don't sort of, uh, that fan is sort of, sort of cased in there where, you probably won't notice it too much um, either. It was sort of made a bit of noise. You could tell it came on, but it comes on and off quite nicely. So um, when you ramp, ramp it down, it just sort of goes off quite quietly. And then, yeah, then it's um, straight off. So interface, I was absolutely loving with this. Now, what it's running off, I think you can get this one in a couple different um, sort of configurations. We've got it, this one in the Cree XHP 70.2. Uh, chips now there are 12 of them and it is just absolutely awesome running off got an orange peel reflectors and they're not like crazy shallow or anything there is quite a bit of a deep set but it is all floodlight and it's really really even too like there's just not really any hot spots it's quite nice wall of light really which is what you sort of want i mean you're expecting a lot of light you sort of want it to be like bang there it is and yeah this one definitely does it it's got 60 watt USB-C fast charging. It can go up to 100 watt USB-C fast charging as well. So it's gonna charge in an hour, which is unreal for these big lights. Uh, internal battery, so you can't take them out. So you do want that thing to charge as efficiently and as quickly as possible so you can keep using it. So an hour of charge time for something so large is yeah, really remarkable. Now with uh, sort of size and everything, so you're looking at about 176 mils in length about 92 mils in sort of the head diameter and 127 mils in height, sort of including the handle there as well. So, and it's coming at about 1.2 kilos, which isn't overly heavy uh, to walk around with all night, especially with that handle. Yeah, I didn't find it too heavy at all. It is obviously a large light because it is 80,000 lumens, but yeah, walking around with it was no, no drama at all. Now, as I said, there's a couple different modes with uh, sort of how you can set this from like the eco mode. They've got like two eco modes, two power modes, uh, whether it's windy or not windy. So definitely worth considering how you want to set, maybe set this default of this light up. Uh, and it's nice to know how to sort of switch in between those modes too. But I just had it on that power sort of windy mode. So ultra low mode is 900 lumens. So ultra low, 900 lumens, still massive amount of light to walk around with all night long, um, yeah, absolutely no drama. You're gonna get eight hour, over eight hours runtime with that too. So yeah, walking around, pretty much any everyday task uh, that you wanna do at night, 900 lumens out of something like this is awesome. Jump up to your low mode, 2000 lumens. So yeah, 80,000 lumen light's gonna ramp up pretty quick. So you're gonna get five and a half hours runtime out of that 2000 lumens. And yeah, again, super easy to walk around, pretty much any task you wanna do, that 2000 lumens is gonna be enough. So mid one, 5,000 lumens. Now you're starting to get into some sort of high output territory. Going to get about 
two hours runtime on that. It's going to drop down as well, about two and a half hours uh, down to 900 lumens. Then we ramp it up to the mid two and that's 11,000 lumens. Now that's going to give you about just over an hour runtime. And again, it'll drop back down to that 900 lumen mark, uh, depending on uh, sort of your battery uh, sort of power and also heat. So yeah. Um, really, really nice output. That 11,000 lumens is huge. Sometimes I was sort of carrying around, I thought that was sort of on high high, but then I just would put on the turbo and it, yeah, it'd blow it out of the water. Jump up to your high, you're going to get 23,000 lumens. It's going to drop down to 17 and a half thousand lumens and then again down to sort of that 900 lumens. Uh, but you get sort of seven minutes on that high and then it drops down for like another half an hour. And then sort of you get that eight minutes as well, sort of uh, runtime on that 900 lumens. So seven minutes may not sound like much, but 23,000 lumens is huge and you are going to be able to see everything with that. So seven minutes actually holding this light, walking around is quite a long time in the scheme of things. Turbo, obviously you get your 80,000 lumens. So you can either use that as a burst function or you can double tap like a lot of the ace beams on the mode and it'll just jump straight up to that turbo function. So that's a momentary switch at the front. You just have to hold it down, big burst, take it off. It goes back down to your sort of mode you came from, but you're going to get that for about 30 seconds and then it drops that down to that 20 minutes. Uh, and that's going to drop down to that 23,000 lumens. And then you're going to drop down again for another eight minutes, just sort of down to that 900 lumens. So heaps of heaps of, um, light output it may not seem like a long time but 80,000 lumens at 30 minutes uh, is mainly because of the heat that's produced from 80,000 lumens it's incredible unless they had a really really big big surface area to sort of soak up all that heat yeah it's just going to drop down um, the fan can only do so much so 30 seconds though huge amount of runtime I would pretty much use this light walking around on those low to mid because it, yeah, it's more than enough light walk around that mo low to mid light, chuck that momentary turbo on to just blast up and just low light up everything uh, and then just drop back down to those low mid modes and continue what you were doing. But overall, Ace Beam made really fantastic light. They've managed to pack 80,000 lumens into such a tight, small package and I'm absolutely loving it. Mechanical lockout, the fact that you can, they've included stuff to actually maintain your light is a big plus for me as well. Um, it's nice to know they're sort of thinking forward. They're not saying that it's going to break or anything like that. They're more just saying if it does, we're providing you the parts to sort of do it yourself, which is great. And the included shroud at the front, again, another added extra that sort of other brands aren't doing. So it's nice to know that you get a little bit better protection and it serves a different purpose. You know when your light's hot, uh, just because that'll change color. But Ace Beam, fantastic light, X75. 80,000 lumens, second brightest torch in the world so far. And yeah, really, really great. So definitely worth checking it out. Um, we'll drop a link below. You can check out the whole Ace Beam range from there. But please feel free to like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification if you like the content, keep yourself up to date. And we've got new stuff like this coming out all the time. So thanks for watching this one and I'll catch you on the next one.